Guys, let's talk about something really cool. Let's talk about the first time I realized I would be able to play games and talk with people around the world. It was actually in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl at the Global Trade Station or the Global Terminal. I was like 16 or 17 at the time. I, I think I was 16 because it came out that spring of like 2007. Pokemon Diamond and Pearl did. I got Pokemon Diamond. A couple of people I know I had other versions of the game like a Pearl. Um, and then later Platinum came out but it, it was before Platinum. Because Platinum had like the global trade station where it was a big cool tower and everything and you could do your battle and all of that. But in Pokemon Diamond, it was in Jubilife City and you would go into the city and it was just really cool. It was futury, high tech, cool stuff like the radio or I'm sorry, the TV tower or the TV station was there. Um, and there was this building, I think it had like a green or a blue roof. Uh, you would walk in and to the side was like a globe and I didn't know what the heck it was. I had no idea that you know, this this building with a sign that said something like your passageway or your, your gateway to the world or something like that was just that. Like, I would select the globe and I would pick a place where I was, which I think my closest place was Atlanta. Um, it wasn't super accurate at the time. And then I would talk to the lady behind the counter and she said um, something along the lines of deposit Pokemon for trade. And I did, but I, what I didn't realize was I was going to get a Pokemon from another country, from the other side of the planet, actually. How it worked was you would put in a Pokemon and ask for another Pokemon. Let's say I had a Chimchar, and I wanted like a Charmander. Um, I would put in a Chimchar, ask for a Charmander, and you would get one. But I ended up getting a Pokemon back that was from Japan. I had never before had a Pokemon from anywhere else other than like a local trade, because in the previous versions, it was all local. In the first and second gen, you had to use Wi-Fi to connect, or not Wi-Fi, I'm sorry, you had a link cable to connect. And then the third gen, it was all infrared, or you could use a link cable, or they had that little Wi-Fi adapter pack that would go in for like Fire Red and Leaf Green version 1.2 or something like that. Um, but it was never like that, it was never worldwide, it was always local. So when I first got that Pokemon from Japan, it clicked with me. I was just like, oh my gosh, I've never seen a Pokemon like this. I'm going to be able to talk with people around the world, trade with people around the world, and eventually play games with people around the world. YouTube was a wee baby back then. It was only like two years old or something like that. It started like 2005, I think. So there weren't like, there was a couple vloggers and there wasn't ever like a huge, huge gaming channel or anything. I don't think PewDiePie was around back then. It was just like standard gameplay or like how to's or stuff like that. There was no commentary like there was now. And like I said, in Platinum, they had the global terminal. In Heart Gold and Soul Silver, they had the global terminal. They had like a big old tower where you could go and battle and there was these machines that looked like arcade games and stuff that you could play in there. Those were like where you would deposit your Pokemon or battle and stuff like that. And then in black and white it evolved into like the global link where you could take your game and like integrate it with the online thing that they had. I don't think it's around anymore. I think they shut down like the whole global trade station, global terminal stuff for fourth gen games. Um, I think they shut down the global link now that all of the stuff is just done through Wi-Fi. You could just wonder trade it at any point in time once you unlock it in the game. It's amazing. But yeah, that was my first encounter with like the globalization of video games, just being able to play multiplayer anywhere around the world. Guys, let me know of your first time that you realized that you'd be able to do this, or maybe you were born into it. Maybe it's just something that you have grown up with with your whole life. You've always had multiplayer games like this. The world has changed so much in the past decade. It's been almost a decade, a little over a decade since that happened. Guys, thank you for hearing me be like a super nerd. I'll talk to you guys again soon.